Well, here we are zooming again. Yep. Did you <laughs> did you get the uh, notes I sent you for the meeting? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somehow, once we I realized we had to meet for Zoom, it seemed more important to me to organize. <laughs> I don't know. So, could we start with the note to the two fiftieth for funding? Although I just noticed on the town calendar that the meeting on Monday is canceled. Yeah, so. I was going to say that to you. They've canceled it completely. Um, and is it your sense that the whole committee has to vote to give us some money? Is that the way it's been happening? I think that's how they've been doing it. Yeah. I haven't been to one of their meetings in a while. Oh, you haven't. Uh, okay. No, it's just been too busy and, and nothing going on that I felt like I needed to Okay. Witness. Okay. But yes, they usually have everybody vote. Okay. So did either of you look at this note that I drafted? Uh, yep. I looked at it. I'm trying to remember it now, but yes. It's, uh, it's a tad, is, is it okay? I uh, actually, let me start. I was wondering whether we should be asking for more than $900. And if so, how to describe what we would do with it. I mean, we're well, in a, yeah. it's so little money compared to the $80,000 they have, right? Right. Yeah, but compared to what Deerfield is asking for their website, which was like a quarter million, uh, there was an article <laughs> in Gazette the other day about. No, it's Pecomtuck. It's not historic Deerfield, it's Pecomtuck. Whatever it was, the museum up in old Deerfield is asking <laughs> a lot of money. They'd be horrified to hear you speak in these terms. Whatever won that museum up in Deerfield, they would be horrified. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> you know, that college in Amherst, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 for, it's for boys, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever. The, you know. <laughs> you know. Um, so. Well, PVMA usually runs their projects off of grant funding. So um, their 1704 website did cost, I think they had a quarter of a million dollars, but it included um, paying an illustrator, you know, and all the research yeah. and writing and, and, you know. Video that. stuff and a whole lot of things that were Lots not. Lots of stuff, do. yep. Lots well, and, and, and it sounded from the article in the Gazette as though this new one is costing about 400000 and they, oh, have I, about, they have about half of it in an IMLS grant. But yeah. but that leaves two hundred thousand. <laughs> I, I haven't think, seen that article. What what is this website about? It was just. It, it was. I'll send you a link. Do you read the Gazette? If you have the Gazette, I, it was. It, it was in the the last okay. few days. But I okay, can. I'll, I'll send. I'll yeah. Okay. Um. So. Uh, should I just send this letter? <laughs> Do you want me to change it in yeah, any way? I think I I I don't know. Um. I think I think that's a fine number, the nine hundred dollars, and uh -huh. I don't know how to think about it any better than we have. Okay. Yeah, that's it's it's perfectly reasonable for a request for them to. Yeah. Okay, so I I will just change it when I write to Susan to say that I just learned that they're not meeting on Monday because I. I I at least feel that we are beginning to have some momentum and it would be useful to have Juliet perhaps sooner yeah. rather than later. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and we can always spend, you know, $90 out of our $200 budget this year, you know, to get it started. That won't, um, you know, right. <laughs> fine. Right. Right. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing was Amy's, um, prompt and surprising response to my note, well, to my slightly yeah. edited version of your note, Alan. Yeah. Um, I, I, Allison and I were talking about something else and realized that neither of us liked the idea that you had embedded in your uh, draft about letting other people put things on the website. Yeah, I was wondering about that too, as I'm thinking about it afterwards. It's going to require a lot more permission on the town website. And even for doing something like Google Maps, it requires somebody to have access to the to add photos and things to it. I'm not sure we really want to do that. So Right. So I took it out. I mean, I, I don't know if you noticed that, but I took that out, you know, thinking, you know, who knows what, if this thing lives for a couple of years, what we might want to do at some future date. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. You can always undo this is that. The consensus document, and it's informal, as I said. You know, I was trying to think of the things that might matter to the town uh, on their website. So, you know, what what are we going to do that requires the least amount of space? And that's cutting out people's ability to add things is probably a good idea. Yeah. That's a, okay. that's a wild card. Okay. Okay. Um, so I noodled around and <laughs> I mean, Amy's note back, can I have the link actually surprised me because I'm so, I don't actually know this. Could we start do if we, could we start doing this without a location for it? I, I mean, I, does that question make sense? Um, <laughs> we we kind of need to just decide what it's going to look like as a, as a landing page. So I'm not quite sure what that is yet. Um, we've got lots of hidden history ideas, but even the stuff that I've done is pretty early phase and tentative. So I'm not, what, what can we, what can we put up that people would actually want to look at right now? Oh, I don't think we could put anything up right now, but I am suggesting that sending the web guy Kala's map and that prototype that has the invented layers that Juliet yeah. designed. I mean, that's yeah. basically it, right? <laughs> no. Do, do, you, do you remember yeah. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I didn't go back and look at any of those more developed sites that she sent us to look at because my memory is that they were all really more elaborate than we've ended up imagining. I, yeah. So does that seem okay to, to us at least? Hello, hello, Jenny. <laughs> no. Hello, sorry. Hello, can you write? Quite a right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think the T-shirt is the Globe Theater and not the Boston Globe. Yes, the Globe yep. Theater. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we went there once. Either the first year times. or the second year it opened. We. Um, it's old T-shirt. I didn't know you were that old, Jenny. <laughs> A lot older than you. <laughs> I think that's it. No, didn't it open several centuries ago? Excuse me. For the first time, yes. That's what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, I beg your pardon. This must be the day Neil is here to say he's taking my car to get the lawnmower. And he is, I don't yeah, know what we got the, we got, We're trying to work on a welcome Yule video, and there's a guy cleaning our chimney, and it's just, eh. And the dog's been sick, but he's better now. So I think we'll be okay. Dear. So, okay, back to the website. Shall I just give that a shot? Sending those two things with some... Yeah. I mean, she, I'm hoping she lets one of us talk to this guy or girl, you know, this person. You're sending, you're sending it to, to as, as kind of test material... Uh, so I wrote back to Amy and said, I can't send you the link because we haven't done it yet. Right. <laughs> Right. Would it help if I sent you links to things somewhat like it, what we have in mind in scale? Yeah. 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 And Kala's awesome. map just has some, you know, video clips. Mm -hmm. But Juliet's map, I can actually bring it up. Can I? Shoot. Uh, Juliet's map. You have to open Google. It's now. coming. Yeah, it's coming. Is it not coming? Yes, here it is. It, you know, I mean, we didn't, it has the layers. Oh, the, Julie, Julie. There you go. That's what it is right there. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. I mean, this is not it, but this yeah. is like it. Maybe I only need to send this. It, it may be. That's yeah. more or less what it looks like. Right. Okay. All right. I will do that. Um, but she I, can't put that up. So that's as long as. She oh, no, 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 no. She knows we're not it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, Quan Quan is spelled wrong. Plus, none of it makes any sense. <laughs> no. Um, no, she's not going to do that. I mean, I, Alan, I don't think. I mean, I think Brian wants to say yes. He just wanted. Yeah. 
he just needs to check, you know. Yeah, he needs some idea what's going on. That's, right, right, right. That's... And and it occurs to me that we have put up a number of things on the Historical Commission website and haven't asked anybody, but they've all been, you know, PDF documents. They're yeah. not, they're not. Um, it's what they expect. They're not portals, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're not interactive. And they're not interactive. Exactly right. I, um, this is, this is off the subject, but when I was um, thinking about this Stonewall grant idea before the Mass Historical Commission person said, basically, forget it, you know, yeah. <laughs> we're not going to give you the money, which was good because the proposals are really time consuming, which Alan will remember. Oh, yeah. I know. Um, I had gone on. Um, not at all clear what we want to do with the thing once we have it. So, well, um, you know, I'm not right. sure what you need for. But um, well, I, I'm still interested in it, but that's just me. Yeah, but well, Con sure. we have so much more on than either the Conway or the Williamsburg Historical Commission. One of them has a list of its members of 2017, in 2017. Mm. And the other has something more, but neither of them has any way to actually reach anybody <laughs> on the store. So, no, you know, no. so we're actually a little bit okay <laughs> on that front. Yeah. All right, so I will do that. Um, and so should we talk about the newspaper research for a minute and what we're all finding? You know, who wants to, other than, other than I, I'm finding that I'm not used to sitting in front of the computer for hours and I have to remember to, you know, <laughs> to I have carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> I have a subscription to Genealogy Bank so I can do this sort of endlessly. The problem is there are 6,000, almost 6,000 hits on the, on the term Waitley from 1920 to 1950. And a lot of it, there's an awful lot of stuff that is, it's weddings and funerals and things that are not- Baseball really, scores. Baseball, yeah, football scores. Um, advertisements. Some of those- Advertisements are kind of interesting. But... Advertisements, advertisements can be interesting. Yeah, there's a couple uh, of Quan Quan farm things that I found. Uh, so you, so Alan, you you also have a subscription? Yeah, I got it through genealogy uh, through the ancestry.com. Oh, I, okay, so all right. I, I got we a didn't year. know that last time we talked to you. We didn't, because Allison oh. now has one as well, and right. I'm and I'm about it. I are sharing it. Sorry. Um, all right. Well, well, go ahead. What do you want? Well, there's a couple things to talk about. We still, we, where are we at with access to newspaperarchives.com and the Greenfield Recorder? Newspapers.com is the one that the library is getting. And Cindy right. told me mid September. And when I said, because she had, you know, when you want the town to pay for something, you have to put in a request. And then the town accountant comes every two weeks or some. I think it is every two weeks. So there's a line. Um, and when I said, will you call me or shall I call you? She said, you should call me. So I have a note on my calendar to call her in the latter part of September. Um, that still doesn't get us a reporter, though, does it? I don't know what gets us. Newspaperarchives.com gets us the recorder. Isn't, I think that's the one that Derricka gets, has. Probably. So, okay. so let me ask her about that because I am now... Uh, she and I have worked out uh, an agreement where I can go in and use the historical society's email and, you know, the, not email, excuse me, computer and catalog when Derricka is not there. Okay. Um, that we're, we're working out some other details like that it wasn't fully installed. So I'm working on that. And now I'm trying to get the scanners attached, you know? So I'm, I mean, there's just some stuff that hasn't been done that needs to be done. But I will, I will ask Derek about that. I didn't realize that. I'm actually amazed at how much Waitley coverage there is in the Springfield Republican. Oh yeah. The whole I mean, section. yeah. 75% of what I'm saving is from the Republican. Oh, interesting. And then a little bit from something called the Boston Journal. This is 1890 to 1920, my, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. window. Um, 
and occasional, occasionally something from a Worcester paper. Yep. But I've figured out that if the Worcester paper comes first, I should go to the next one and see if the Republican covered it because it will have more text. Interesting. No, I mean, it just has more detail. Well, um, going back to what Alan said about the 6,000 hits, you know, I don't think our job is to thoroughly analyze every article that was ever written about Waitley. Our job is to populate this website with things of interest for people, right. to it, you know, and we're not claiming that it's comprehensive and, um, you know, so I, I don't think you need to read 6,000 entries. I certainly wasn't, you know, but, but I was also doing earlier. So there weren't quite as many. Yeah. yeah um, I only have 3,200 hits in my 30 years. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of them are the word weightly, which sometimes appear seven, eight, 10 times in a single article. So the actual number to view is, is smaller, but I can't tell easily in advance what I'm looking at until I actually go and check the thing out. So I can look at it, review it, and then throw it away. And every once in a while, I'll find something like the weird telephone calls to save. Right. But even, that's time consuming. It's very slow here. And I can oh, it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I now, well, I can, can, can you expand your filter, though? So you're searching for Waitley plus roads, you know, or Waitley uh, plus walls, Waitley plus schoolhouse, you know? Probably. I do have some stuff in the schoolhouse. Yeah. I mean, there is, uh, you know, whatever there, it is. There are ways to reduce the, the volume of stuff. Unfortunately, yeah. what it does is it tells you if you put Waitley and schoolhouse, it finds places where those things are on the same page of the newspaper. Yeah. Right. Not necessarily the same art. It doesn't just, it doesn't recognize articles. Right. It recognizes yeah. pages. So, but it might help, you know. The other thing that I found that, well, Alan, you're probably not getting stuck. I'm getting a, a lot of articles that are about somebody, an archbishop named Whateley. Yes, <laughs> but I have I have gotten very fast at moving on to the next one when he shows up, you know, because um, you know that previous next button at the top is pretty easy, um, and I'm puzzled. I think Genealogy Bank must not be perfectly organized because I'm pretty frequently being led to articles where it says zero match at the top. You know, usually it says one or two. So if it's a zero match, I'm just going past it. But yeah. I'm saving, I'm saving anything that seems to relate to any of the topics we've identified so far. Um, whether it's really substantive or not, for example, I've come, I found two articles that name Waitley women who, uh, had um, officers position in the local WCTU. So if we get if we get enough other content about temperance, we'll know that a Crafts and a Dickinson and someone a name it wasn't you know that kind of stuff. I'm saving a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff about um, oh a bunch of young people in Haydenville rented a carriage and the carriage the bridge across Swamp Road collapsed and the four horses drowned and the people all sued. So I'm sort of, there are a lot of things like that, that are leading, like your, your, your sledding accident, leading me to some weightly disasters or weightly. I don't know. It's the newspaper, Donna, that with a nice day where nothing, nobody yeah. got injured, doesn't make the paper, just like today. Yeah. yeah, but they all sued about everything. I mean, the number of lawsuits about things where you'd think, really, you could perhaps move on, <laughs> you know, right, right, right. Um, multiple references. The, the way Leanne was on, was on fire more than it was in operation, as far as I can well, see. And it wasn't being raided by, when it wasn't being raided by the alcohol police. Right, 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 exactly. Well, I, I haven't found the alcohol police at wait in, in the Wait Leanne yet, just at the Maplewood. They were in constant trouble during protest. Yeah, yeah. So the other thing I'm saving, just... Um, which you can do or not do for Derricka's sake, since she is very interested in wills and how property and money was left. 
Um, yeah. I'm saving anything that has some content, you know, and, and um, anything that has dispute for her sake, you know, just so she can. I've got something like that too. Somebody who was yeah. the actress of the Whitley Library, um, S. White Dickinson's um, granddaughter or something, whoever she was, Anna Dickinson, um, left a lot of money to build the library. So there's an article about that that I've saved. So there are things like that that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I mean, um, it's it's it, it's very tempting because when you're in there snorkeling around, you know, in this coral reef of yeah. lately newspaper article, right. you know, you're there to, to to catch one thing, but you see all these other. It's like money on the ground. You, you know, thought you were looking for a no. quarter, but there's dollar bills out there too. It's hard mm -hmm. not to pick them up. Um, and I think it's useful probably to save them in some way and turn them over right. to the historical society. I don't know how that's going to work, but yeah, yeah. But so for, for our intents and purposes, don't I'm sure. we, go ahead. Shouldn't we try to put most of our focus on topics that can be related to a geographic place? So yes, yes, like the, like the, the, the very interesting, you know, but it's hard to put a dot, a pin in on that. We need we need for our project places uh, or topics that can be linked to a place like the Waitley Inn or the bridge on or, the, or the or the bridge on Swamp Road. Right. Exactly. You know? yeah. So can you see I'm just showing you the stuff I've been saving? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and for now, this is most of it. Uh, I mean, this is what I've saved out of. Oh, out of. Sorry, I'm I'm going down the wrong way. Where what? Where are you going to put the pin for the adulterer? I just thought that was interesting. <laughs> okay. it, it's. I, I mean, I have a kind of. You know, eventually these things should be put in folders, topical folders, and and I want to go back, Allison, and to that zip file that you sent. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the adultery. I was just fascinated. The woman has nine children. The the husband is crying in Vermont, you know, because she's moved to Waitley. <laughs> with this in guy. the earlier paper, there, there, are, there are advertisements for, for women who have run away, and the advertisement is the husband saying, okay, my wife ran off. I'm not paying any bills that she runs up. Yeah. That's, that's that. very, that was very common. Yeah, that was very common. Um, but I have found a lot of stuff about the disputes with Conway and Deerfield and Northampton about water supply. Yes. So oh. I feel good about that. And um, suits by the town of Waitley against the Consolidated Railroad. I haven't, I, I, I should, I, I actually, now that I have more, I want to go back and rename these so that the liked articles are next to one another. Uh, well, here's one I named Proposed Train Line in 1891. It was a, we were furious as a town about train and railroad plans for a really long time. <laughs> um, there's even something about, here it is, 1891, Waitley just flipping out because the railroad was being built without any protection at the grade crossings, which is yep. amazing yep. to me because this is what our neighbors on Christian Lane complained about two years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, and and got uh, Amtrak, I guess, to to put the the bars on. So yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm with you, Alan. But but now that I've got some rhythm, and I can know I can only do sixty or ninety minutes at a time, <laughs> or, or I start you know seeing crosswise. I'm I've got to sort of I've, I've got my work plan going. So I'm about a quarter of the way through. My yeah, I, I think Alan is right though. Cutting down, filtering things is going to be crucial yeah yeah I I download too i've got a my documents my area on the uh, on genealogy bank but it's it's whole pages rather than i, I thought it was clippings but it's not clippings just so the other thing that i figured out how to do do you know that when you download an article you have a choice to either save the entire article or to clip a section hmm. and save that and i Often in those articles you were mentioning, Alan, in your email, the kind of roundup of news from 
you know, yeah. Franklin County or um, town. yeah, by town. If, if it's if it's clearly that I want a paragraph or two out of a really long article, that clipping uh, feature. I mean, I figured out how to use it immediately. It is not hard. <laughs> no. Yeah, I need to spend more time with it, but yeah, I've, I've been at it for three or four days. But yeah, an, an hour at a time or so is about all I can manage. Right, right, right. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You can, you know, you give it a little time and then you, you know, you sort of <laughs> forget it. But it is, it is totally a rabbit hole, though, isn't it? I mean, you can just follow some of these things. Oh, yeah. I can tell Donna's gotten hooked. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, it's it's fun, and and uh, it's totally I fun. I like the fact that while we're doing it, we can both feed this project and park some things that might be useful later on. Yeah. You know, I mean, some things. For example, I I found so much about this trolley dispute that I wrote to Judy Markland and said. You know, if you ever run up shop short for those weekly or monthly rather emails you're sending out for the historical society, I I think with some notice I could do something about this trolley dispute. And she wrote back and said, "Great, I have I think I means the historical society photo you know good images of a trolley ticket and a trolley from that period." Um, now I should say at this point that one of the things that has surprised me. <laughs> is that far fewer of the historical society's photographic images are scanned than I thought. They are indexed, but the index takes you to book three, section seven. Um, so I, I think we'll be able to use, I'm gonna keep spending a little time with Derica just to understand more about how the index works. And they have two scanners, and I will get them connected <laughs> to the computer. <laughs> and, I mean, I just, I just, I mean, I, I don't mean to make fun because the space Derek is working in is, you know, very small. But she had told me one of them didn't work, and um, Neil and I went in there this morning. Well, it didn't work because it wasn't turned on, you know, because yeah. it's like behind 14 books <laughs> so but so she may have been she has a new computer right she has a newish computer and it has yeah, she maybe run into a problem like i have where she's got a new computer now it's not compatible with the old scanners anymore yeah i i, I don't think it's gonna be hard i think i just have to go in you know the next time it rains for an hour which will be in a minute and um download the software for the new scanners and Okay. You know, click my heels and turn around three times and hope it works. Well, <laughs> let's let's go back. Let's go back to how we can produce the content for our project because yes. you, know, you also raised the question about um, now that we're such newspaper archaeologists, um, do we just draw all these pins on a map and link them to a newspaper article? I think I I that's an easy way to do it. I think the some of these articles are long. Some of them are part of a ch chain. You know, somebody got arrested. Now they've been on trial. Now they've con been convicted, whatever, you know. Right. Um, I think that in some cases it, it would be more accessible to people to write up the event. You know, in 1891, the town was pissed off because the railroad right. did this. Right. And one so half the town felt this way, and the other half of the town felt that way. Eventually, this is what the railroad did. Yes, I, I agree, and we can sometime along the line and, and click here to see the newspaper articles. You know, if I mean, you want, if, if you, you want, want more, yeah, more. yeah. No, I think you're right, and and so part of the design of the site and um, should be to pick a font and a size. You know, so those. Um, and I can and say, if, Allison, I'd be really happy if you would sure. <laughs> you know, oh, propose no, a plan. Um, you know, and if and if you can link those things to a visual image, I think it also brings it to life. Even if it, you know, if you can find a picture of the train or the trolley right. or the ticket or something, I think it just enlivens it and entertains people more. 
Right. Like when I, when Alan and I were first noodling around about what we wanted to do and the only corduroy road image I could find was the one from the Library of Congress. Well, fine. It's a corduroy road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? right. So, um, and um, so, it, well, that's good. I, I, I had the same sense. I, I mean, I think some of the, you know, that, that article about the bulldogs <laughs> of, is, is so beautifully written. There's so much content in those three paragraphs with Miss What's Her Name fully clothed on the I'm bed. Sorry. <laughs> the, so many what the hell was she doing there? The proprietors were at home. What's well, I think on? I think we know what she was doing there, Allison. But they were being discreet. You know? I don't know. Oh, she was really close. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, so, so funny. It it really is a um, you know, re just reminds us how the what it being a local journalist meant in terms of writing ability compared to say you know what it means now. You had to is, move fast, and yeah, you had to move fast. But it's there's there's just some. Are you? I mean, are you both finding just a lot of humor in the way the articles are written? Not always, but you know, some of the humor is in the quaintness, you know, right. or the perspective that they're taking with the right. story. Um, right. But you clearly can see, you know, the sensationalism at work in the journalism. That too. Trying to make, trying to really make a story, you know, a story. Throwing the fact that there were three bulldogs loose in the room um, without really explaining that. Why? Right. What were those stars uh, doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's just it's just weird. And uh, it's very National Enquirer-esque to me. Yeah. Right. Well, that's let's see. This is when did Hearst. When did William Randolph Hearst. Start with the yellow journalism. Oh, right. Well, I, I mean, I, I, now I can't right. remember when William Randolph Hearst lived, <laughs> but. Yeah, I bet it's less sensational by the time you get to the 50s. Yeah, I haven't gone that far, but even in the 40s, it was. Well, I don't know. You've got your occult murder story going, Donna, which is creepy. That was 1992. Right, I, right. Yeah. Hearst lived from 1863 to 1951. So the turn of the century was right in his yeah. time. Yeah. Um, okay. So I haven't written anything else up because <laughs> I've been working on the logistics. <laughs> but uh, I, I think the only thing I added to the um, possible layers was something and I, this isn't a very clever name about creative Waitley, but it leads to a question because I found some references to many local events in Amherst, in Northampton, Roundabout, hired something called the Waitley Brass Band. Yes. And I, I hadn't heard, there was a cornet band and a brass band. You've seen the photo. I, I think I have. Standing in front of the town hall, front doors. Yeah, um, it, there might be a photo from when there was the when the gazebo was out, sort of in the center of the of the Haydenville Road. And um, do you know this story, know. Allison? No. There was, a, there was a gazebo that the the intersection of Chestnut Plain and Haydenville Road was configured differently, and there was a gazebo. And at some point in the last sixty or seventy years. Uh, it was about to be destroyed and Fred Bardwell, the late Fred Bardwell, yep. took it home and it is now Adelia's garage. Yes. <laughs> right. Don't I, Alan? Yep. That's right. Yeah. Fred and Adelia. Yeah. Fred moved it. Yeah. They repurposed it. They saved it and repurposed it. That's like Neil, leap, like, like Neil leaping out of the house when Sabin Filipkowski's kids and the house next to us were hurling things into the dumpster, including the benches and little tiny school kids' chairs and whatnot from, 
I don't even, from center school, I think that's where she taught. I think that's where she had taught and you were vaulting over the, <laughs> over the Presidia to say, you know, and, and umpteen pieces of farm stuff. Right, 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 right. Wow. So, so, um, and, and are you doing, are you, are we thinking about natural disasters? So sorry, on Creative Waitly, the other things I thought of were the Ninja Turtle guy, are we gonna? But we can't put a link to his. No, you can't house. make a house on him. No. Do you know? Uh, do you know them? Yep. I, I, mean, not I, know, have, I know Janine. I have met Janine, and of course she, um, and she was very nice. I don't and, think she'd like a pin in the map for her house. No, I don't either. So I and I, I mean, I was thinking of signature sounds because, of course, it was founded here, but it's not here anymore. Yeah. See, that seems very. That seems very loose to me. Okay. And, it's, it's, okay. and um, you know, I'd be, I'd be more because otherwise, it's going to turn into. We can, might as well make a map of the stars' homes. We can put Judge Judy's kid on there too. You know, um, she doesn't live here yet. <laughs> well, she lives in South Deerfield. Okay. Where where one of them is on the planning board, which is pretty right. hysterical. <laughs> you know that's, that that seems in, intrusive and really not that interesting in, in the long run. And okay. I don't think they okay. enjoy it. No, I also wonder about these more contemporary crime things, whether there are people in town that would feel right. uh, that that was invasive. Threatened. Yeah, that, not... You know, like even the neighbors might like, ah, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be thinking about that again. Right. Um, well, you've made it clear you don't want, um, you know, Howard Hoxie's unsolved murder, for example. It's, it's That's open, a good. It's an open case, and I don't think right. we should be talking about it. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. So let let's cross off creative waitly unless we have a, you know, well, somebody has an epiphany about things we might want to. There, I have band entries. I mean, but where do we put them on the map? See, this is where that comes. You know. Okay. Are we put him in the town hall. Are we putting him in the gazebo. What? Where are we putting them? You, you know, there was a a film made in the Waitley Glen. Do you know about that? Oh no. Edison, back in the day. I mean, a hundred years ago, had from a, New made Jersey, a movie, made a movie at Waitley Glen, and it's called Something's Gift. And I can't think of. Uh, huh. I'll look it up. Um, that's the kind of thing you could actually put a, a pin in a map for. Uh huh. Um, let me look it up here. Well, then we could put a map to the Dexter uh, sequence with the Waitley Diner, except it hasn't been shown yet. Right. There is their lunch spot, though, that was where the old restaurant used to be across from the, the repair shop. But... You mean DeMaio's? Yeah. I think yeah. Old, uh, the restaurant that burned down suddenly, mysteriously. It's 1910 movie. It's called Anonko's Vow. I thought it was Gift, but Vow. I have never and heard of this. It was very early, and it was it was uh, kind of in the pageant style of Native American and English encountering each other. You can imagine the. Uh, <laughs> Challenges there. I can imagine that uh, it is shock, quite a big cast. Shock, shock full of offensive points of view. Yeah. I will send you this because I've always thought we should see if there's an existing, um, you know, film of it, if it's been actually saved someplace. And it was premiered in Greenfield, and um, it was the story of the massacre. This is how it's written up which oh, we dear. don't say that anymore, both the 70, 1675 massacre and the 1704 one. And so they had winter and summer scenes. It's, I'm going to send you this link so you'll see. But okay. it was a very early movie made in Waitley and it was made at the Waitley Glen. But the link was not to the movie. The link is not it's to the movie. It's to the AFI catalog. And, oh, I see. You know, okay. when, you want, when you have free time, you can... Okay. You can dive around in here. I mean, there's a very long description of this movie. In 1910, it was called one of the most elaborate Indian pictures ever put on the screen. Well, how many had been put on the screen in 1910? 
I don't know. Well, Why not they many, number, but still. Yeah. So um, I'll send it to you. There are, I have finding many references to young people from town X, town Y, whatever, going to the Waitley Glen. Uh, I saved one <laughs> about Smith girls that referred to Mountain Day just because I yep. thought someone who had something to do with Smith might want to yep. know yep. about it at some point. Yep. But none of them, you know, they're not really in and of themselves particularly interesting. No. They just prove what we already know that the Waitley Glen was a real uh, destination, you know? Yep. Yep. Alan, I couldn't, I, I think your volume was low. I couldn't hear what you just said. It doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll try to be closer to the mic. Okay. <laughs> if this thing, yeah, the light's on, should be working. But. All right. The other thing that looking at Kala's uh, map and reminding, uh, remembering that her links are all to audio clips. Remember she interviewed yep. some of the oldest uh, residents in town. Made me wonder, for example, with your, um, with a boundary, whether an audio clip of you, Alan, just talking about <laughs> what you found. My, you know, the nice thing about audio clips instead of visual ones sometimes is that people can be walking around listening to them and rather than, yeah. you know, this, the this harm. Uh, I think it's ANS, who I think is still alive, uh, was a selectman and actually did walk the bounds. He's the only, only one left, I think, who has. Um, I need to find his phone number again or get it again from Adelia. Yeah, yeah, but right. It would it, possible it, to talk to him. Well, what are hey, we Alan, if you were going to walk the, the boundary line, how many miles is that? Ooh, a lot. What's the circumference uh, via town line? I'm not sure. It's, um, oh, I thought you might have added it up. Well, it's 20 I square know. miles. So, so that's two by 10. It's around, yeah. It ought to be four by five. So that would be eight, yeah, about 20 18 square miles. miles. 20 odd miles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, shouldn't really matter what the dimensions are if it's 20 square miles, right? It's, you know, yeah. four edges. No, plus. that's like saying, that's like saying the coast of Maine, you know, it's only 200 miles from uh, Portland. To right, 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 right. Canada, so but the coastline is a lot longer than that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what they did. Actually, did they do it all in one day or did it take several days to actually walk the bottom? I would think they're like uh, doing it in segments, section hiking. Probably. Yeah. But they had to do it every year. So. Huh. Yeah, it would, be, it would be great if, I mean, I don't know how old Mr. Annis is, but it would be great if you could find him while he's still yeah. available. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> I, do. I think I had this. The phone number, but it got lost. So I'll find it again. Right. It's. Or ask to do it again. She's got it. I just yesterday was vowing that I'm going to stop counting on something being in an email someone has sent me because, you know. <laughs> um, so, okay. Is there anything else? When do we want Juliet? Let's talk about that. <laughs> you know, if it was me and you were hoping to launch this in June, I'd start counting backwards. Right, right. You know, and say, okay, well, if it's going to launch in June, we need to give it all to Juliet on May 1st. And then we need to, you know, whatever that means. Right. And make some kind of schedule that lands us in June. Right. That's a really good idea. You know, when do we want a test site? When, when are we going to? Yeah. Um, so uh, I think the right thing to do then is to write to her and ask her to impose a deadline on us. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. we can wander around in the wilderness here, you know, for a long time. Yeah, I I will say I, I'm glad that we um, 
you both pushed as you did on the newspaper, getting access to the newspaper research resources, because I'm feeling more confident about being able to judge pretty quickly when there's enough information to make something of it and when it's just an isolated thing. You know? yeah. um, I, 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 um, I will, as I said, continue to spend as time soon trying to figure out the best way for us to get access to the historical society information. Okay. We need to find some limiting what we're after too, I think. Excuse um, me? We have so much stuff that we're working on that I think we need to limit what we want to start with anyway to Yeah. Before we Well, go especially on. with the with the newspaper dumpster diving. Um is yes. is and, as Donna said, there's a lot of things to find. And, you know, it may be that 5% of them are, are going to be good for our project and the rest of them right. need to go some other places. You know, I, I, I am finding and, and I'm listening to what you're talking about. I think there's ideas here for programming for the historical society, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, mm -hmm. in, in all kinds of new ways that, you know, right. Breach I mean, the, the, the really, uh, stiff structure that they used to kind of, and Judy, Judy does it too, you know, schoolhouses of Waitley, fire department of Waitley, you know, it, it, going back into these stories makes it so much more interesting. And it's all right. forgotten, I think, you know. Well, I, I, I had a funny exchange. Um, I was really surprised to find the article, uh, I can't remember if I wrote to you two about it, um, that in 1908, there was a special meeting, special town meeting to vote on a proposal that all the regional schools be shut down in favor of building a centralized school for Waitley. Not the center school, but a, a school. And it lost by two votes. Wow. And I, so that's, and I, um, wrote to a couple of people, probably Judy and Derek, and said, well, this isn't in Ina Kane's book. Do you think people knew about that? And Judy wrote back and said, well, nothing happened. And I said, the vote happened. <laughs> you know? I mean, I find that really interesting. Um, I, I actually didn't say this, but are we going to neglect to tell people that in 2013, we went through all this stuff about the larger plan to expand the town hall, and it passed a town meeting, but then it failed at the at the ballot box and then yeah. we renovated it anyway. I mean, it's, that's a good news story, right? That's like the Cuban Missile Crisis. Nothing happened. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> kind of <laughs> nano sense. <laughs> um, but I would, you know, I, I thought that was a really nice, um, you know, maybe single point Waitley conflict story, but I, I will try to find some more. Um, What's so, interesting about a story, I mean, the other thing to think about when you're looking at these things, and this is for people here in town, but it probably applies to any small town, is, is whatever the perspectives at work there were. You know, I imagine if they're trying to build a center school, wherever they're going to put it, it was going right. to be hard for some of the people to get to it. You know, and so you got this sections of town conflict, which is still going on, you know. Right. Which does and still I, go on. I think West Waitley was going to get screwed out of, you know, having the school right. anywhere near them. Right, right, exactly. Well, the other thing, I'm, I'm glad you said that, that I wanted to mention is um, another resource that is accessible and very useful is that in town offices in the vault, they have um, hard copies of every annual report and, ever, and, the, and the minute since ever, <laughs> since they started producing annual reports yep. and every and the minutes of every town meeting. Um, and I, you know, when I was wanting to make the case to spend the money to restore the safe, Alan will remember this, I went over and went through and it didn't take me very long. I mean, I know indices, but you know, you're just paging and you're scanning and finding. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it was fabulous to find that it was ordered from Ohio and we spent the equivalent of two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars in today's dollars and all this stuff. You know, it was really good stuff. 
So, so for some things, I think the newspaper articles will not be the source, but more like a pointer to the source. Um, Cause you might, what, what they didn't, so this was, I should remember this. This was around 1890 also, uh, the, the period that I was reviewing. Um, there's, the minutes are uh, more limited to actions. They're real minutes. They're not, Alan said this, Allison disagreed. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, um, but they had enough content that I was able to say, you know, this is really interesting because for years, the town meeting was all about roads. It was all about dis discussions about whether the town would take responsibility for maintaining this road or that road, because that was a really major, ex and so it was easy to pick out mentions of something other than a road. <laughs> you know? right, right. Um, so I, I mean, not everybody has unlimited time, but I actually like doing things like that. So I, I would think, at a certain point, as we've all, as we've each gone in our different directions and we have, we should probably get together, decide what we, what might benefit from a review of those physical um, town documents. And then, it, you know, it, I mean, one of us could go and go through, or we could divide the annual reports up the way we're dividing and, and just- Right, you know, all right, that'd be interesting. The yeah. other thing that's a resource uh, that I've looked at, but of course I did it before I was thinking about this project or several other projects, are the account books that the Historical Society has that are just sitting out on a counter someplace. Like the Alice Waterworks account book. Like yeah. the Alice Waterworks account. Oh, and yes. by the way, I was on Mount Esther a couple weeks ago and found some of the ceramic uh, tiling that must be part of the Alice Wall Waterworks. And I'm like, what oh, the hell is that? terrific. You're in the middle of nowhere. Well, anyway, I'll get to show it to you, Alan. It's fascinating. Yeah. Um, but anyway, those account books are snapshots in a way and, and talk about material culture, you know, um, but there, there's the one, and I can't think of the guy's name now, um, that talks about what his daughters were paid for doing handwork. And, you know, there's mentions of buying rum and there's, there's uh, entries for when he sent his son out to do the annual road work building and where it happened, Donna, you know, like, because the people, in t you were required, I guess, to donate a day of your time. This is back in early you know, to work on roads. It was just a thing you had to do, like tithing the church. You had, to, you had to either send yourself or send somebody to go work for a day on a road. I mean, now we're like a megalopolis. We have Keith and his two guys. Yeah. Right, <laughs> you know? right. Keith was also the tree warden. <laughs> right, that and draining the swamp. That was something else that people went yeah. out and got paid, by the, you, know, you got paid by the town to do it, but you had to go do it. And you got paid two cents or something, you know. And so there, there are notations that... And there's a store inventory that, that the Historical Society has as well. So th that would be worth looking at to see how it might tie into some of these things. So I think but, this, this is telling me just to, to go back to um, a calendar so that we know when we have to stop doing research right. and start producing something. Right. Um, right. I, I will ask. You don't want to be a doctoral research, a doctoral thesis researcher forever. Well, Just keep or, on a PhD or for eight or ten years, like you, people, like you, other people do. So um, I was thinking about it because I think I mentioned to you both maybe the last time we met that the book group I'm in was reading John Sinton's book about the Mill River through Florence and Leeds yeah. and yep. Northampton, yep. and we and we met with him Wednesday night. And um, thinking, have, have either of you read that or looked at it? No, I want to. It, it, it has, well, I just returned the library's copy of it. <laughs> so it so it's, should be there. Um, and um, it, it is both, well, I, I learned a lot about Haydenville and, and Leeds uh, and their 
role in sort of early industry, but also the kind of and just endless. There must be a hundred pages about floods. Mm-hmm. You know, there's two paragraphs about this flood and two sentences about this flood. You kind of it must have taken him an incredible amount of time. That's where I found the reference to that manual index of the Hampshire Gazette. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay. So I will write to Juliet and hope she will be willing to just give us some skeleton outline. Um, it sounds like neither of you are thinking we need to meet with her immediately though. We should sort of save our time more to the, Okay. Yeah. Um, and unless there's something that's needed by the town to make their decision right. about. Right, 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 right. But I didn't. I mean, when she wrote and said it was going to take two hours of her and Don's time to tune up the technical <laughs> description, I, no, no, right. <laughs> no, no. Um, and we should just start, just keep doing what we're doing. Should we? How many years of, of genealogy bank are you looking at, uh, Allison? I've forgotten. I had started with like 35 to 65. I had started with that. And I think I'm pretty well through that. And then you, then I was going to take on the later chunk of the 19th century. What I think up, you was, up to 1890 where I started. 1895 to 95 or something. Yeah, well, yeah, because no, well, I started on January first, eighteen ninety. So you don't need to do okay, ninety. Okay, yeah. yep. But but does it go back even farther? Should we be doing? It, any? There are, and I and I have seen entries from before that because I when I got into the genealogy bank, I started searching. Er, you know, it has the Gazette, which is early, and um, so I have some. Could be seventeen late. 1790s things. I certainly have 1802 things. Uh, right this minute, I can't remember how. If I put a date range like that on it, I don't remember now. Yeah, because you are doing more weightly. This, plus is, this is one of the problems with this being an ongoing thing: is you you go down these avenues and into streets right. and side streets, and then you can't remember how you back out of that and how right. that happened. So I'm, I'm starting to lose my memory of how I got to some of these places. Right. But as I say, I, I feel like my job is not to read every freaking weekly entry that ever was written. And if we miss the biggest story of all time, somebody else can find that later or point it out to us. They'll tell us, you know, when uh-huh. we put our website up. Uh-huh. Okay. But do we, do we think so... You know, we we said a few minutes ago we didn't want to do anything overly contemporary or kind of current, but what does that mean literally about when we want to start stop doing research? I'm I, I'm kind of laughing because so many articles in the Gazette now about Waitley are wrong. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're wrong. I mean, they're you know that. Um, I you mean historical references? What do you mean? What no, are wrong I mean current that? articles. So right, many. But what, is, what are they? What is wrong? Well, for example, um, Brian was um, he was really annoyed a couple of weeks ago when he spent a lot of time talking with the reporter. I've forgotten the current reporter's name about the um, request for interest that is being has been launched for the center school that is yeah. was about to be launched. Because he explained to the person, I put a draft on the website. I'm asking townspeople to make comments on the the text of the RFI, um, and he wow. did, by the way, include all sort of make the position, you know, the the milk bottle situation clear after I asked for that. Um, but the article made it sound as though we were asking townspeople what they wanted to do with the center school. Well, we did that. <laughs> you know, there was a good committee. They worked for six months. <laughs> you know, that's what I mean by wrong. Just letter letter. Letter. Yeah. Judy had a good letter. And yeah, and, that, and they can say about that. Well, idea. the problem with it becoming too contemporary is you're going to stumble into current controversies. Right. You're going to stumble into sensitive things about living relatives. 
Right. Um, and so it may be that contemporary needs to adjust according to what topic we're on. You know, if, if we're talking about geology, well, then it can be contemporary as we want. If we're talking right. about, you know, I don't know. You can't, you, you don't want to get into contemporary businesses because that's too complex. I don't right. know. Okay. I think that's a total judgment call. And, but, but it's completely up to us. And again, you know, nobody's going to know what we left out of this thing on purpose. Um, and we can totally justify our choices on the grounds of entertainment value, you know, what we have illustrations. There's all kinds of reasons to choose one thing over another. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right, right. Um, which is why um, I think we've all agreed we don't want to take the approach of saying here's a here's a map that shows all the schools, here's a map that shows all the post offices, you know. That's that's a separate project. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. It's just a way of thinking about it that seems very rigid and card catalogy to me. Right. It's more of an index. Yeah. So so I, I was asking that thinking, then we can probably, if if Alan manages to live up until 19, you know, to get through till 1950, um, we can we can probably move on at that point. Or do we want to read till 1980? You know, what are we, that, that's what I was. I think it just depends on the story. You know, if you're talking about floods, for example, you might want to reference her, you know, Irene. I, I just think it depends what it is. Okay. Right, Alan, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's a judgment call. Whatever we want to add to it is what we want to add. Okay, and so we'll, we'll use our current, the current, 30, 40 year reviews that each of our do, of us are doing as a way to um, sort of uh, tease out the topics. And then, we can, and then we can do topical, exactly. Then we can do topical. It's a good stopping point. So it's, um, I'm going up to 1950, I think, with, with, the, right. with the stuff I'm looking at. Right. Most of us have papers, so. But then you're also going to look at this business of the family, the left-leaning, war resistant family up in the in West Waitley, right? <laughs> yeah, what, is again, it Cooney? Cooney. But Cooney, is that Jimmy and Blanche? The, the difficulty again there is: do we want to mark Gabe's house? Right. Because so you know, he's a I living guy. That. Yeah, and it's a it's a currently occupied house. It's not a solar hole, so <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, the well, if he's, I mean, I, it might be interesting, but I'm not sure how we put that in a map. Um, right. This, this is going to be the hardest question, I think, is, is what can we... pretty for us to do it, but. Um, you know, I think if, I think if, if we're, um, it, if you're writing about Gabe Cooney, who I've met, I don't think I've met, but I know that he's, you know, uh, active in town because yeah. he attended a ZBA. He's also a strong personality. You know, he will have feelings. Yeah. Like this. yeah. He. Uh, oh, I know what it was. He was at a select board meeting recently, talking about traffic speed at about on Poplar Hill Road. Um, yeah. Which, which, which uh, I mean, it was just funny because I don't know him, and I was reading the minutes of the meeting for a different reason, and Alan had just been talking about him, and I thought so. And I mean, if if you're thinking of writing about him, I think you have to interview him, right? We can't write something about a living person without talking to that living person. Right, possibly, yeah. Yeah. And that I mean, may that may scratch that off your list, you know, if that's what you feel like needs to that's do. That's what it, you do. Yeah. If it you feels know, I, I think that also applies if you're talking about somebody's mother, you need to talk to, you know, you may need to talk to that person. So right, how right, far back right. that, you know, Adelia's grandmother, that takes us long way back. Right. Mm. Right. 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 I mean, you know, creative Waitley, you know, <laughs> I could talk with Marianne Simon about dancing with Merce Cunningham, mm -hmm. but but she didn't live in Waitley when she danced with Merce Cunningham. You know, she lived in New York and Paris. So that's, uh, I think, I think that would actually not be a fair, an honest <laughs> representation of Waitley's history. 
She just happens to live here. I, I think we should we should continue with our newspaper snorkeling, and then uh, at some point, maybe if it's our next meeting or whatever that is, come back together and see what we have and see yes. some of the directions and how we feel about it. I mean, if you're really jazzed about the railroad controversy, then we're, we'll yeah. put that in, you know? Well, I, I like it because the way Waitley is described as uncivic and, you know, obstructionist, I mean, it's really Northampton going crazy. I mean, Northampton was, it's actually ironic. Northampton was conservative you know, <laughs> for much oh, yeah. of its <laughs> existence. Uh, and yes. Um, so I think I think we should get back together at some point and where we feel like we've gone through our time slots in the newspapers and then, then have a meeting where we talk about what we found and maybe right. make a hierarchy of, of our findings and, you know, and kind of take it from there. And we may need to create a new category or merge some categories or whatever we need to do to make okay. it work. Depends on what we find, yeah. Okay. Because this, this issue of geographic placement is really gonna matter. Yes, that's a really good reminder. So if we can't pin it, then we, we should. It. It's not, we're not gonna be able to put it on our map, so. Right, right, right. So for example, maybe my temperance clues won't go any place because we'll go in your temperance lecture that you give after the booze lecture that we give. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> but if the, if the point is that what we find about temperance is that some women in Waitley went to you know uh, conferences or meet, they call them some actually they had a funny name for them in Albany or well so what right <laughs> right right, right. Um, okay so. Today is the 10th. I'm away for a week. Uh, do you want to meet on October 1st? Just three weeks from now, good? That sounds pretty good. Is that okay for, for you, Alan? Alan, when do you, when do you kind of get tougher to, <laughs> when does your time get worse with your dancing group? Um. It's each Wednesday right now for a while, maybe Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And the Columbus Day weekend is going to be about the end of it. So, okay. Eight, nine, ten, something like that. Okay. So should we, um, should we meet on October 1st at 11? Is that, is that good? Sure. Sure. That sounds good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Super. Thank you.